stamp is available. Yeah, obviously that's the issue. When their light is on. So basically, um, one of the women who I um, deal have a relationship with, I guess you could say she's a dating coach guru, um, it's basically her thing, and she's 100% correct. How do you know when a cab is available? Your light is on. So if your light is not on, and if your body language isn't saying, hey, I'm approachable, then a guy's not going to come and talk to you. And I'm sure every woman in this room has experienced either being in a situation, whether you're at a benefit, whether you're walking down the street, whether you're wherever, at a restaurant, how many times has a guy made eye contact with you or looked at you and smiled and then walked away and didn't do it? How many people have experienced that? Usually everybody. When I was younger and single a very long time ago, I used to pick up on an average about 200 men a week. When I was in my 20s, I used to walk to work every day. And I lived on 57th and 1st, and I worked in the Garment Center on 39th and Broadway. So every day I walked to work, and I walked via the traffic lights. So it's like, you know, whatever was green, I just, like, every day was a different route. And I window shopped, and I was literally a piece of work. And I get to the office, and my best friend of 30 years, who was my assistant at the time, said to me, how many today? The second she got there. And it was mind-boggling because... I really almost did a survey of how many men would smile and then not do anything. And it's like, a pic take a picture, it'll last you longer. Why are you smiling and you didn't say hello? And I mean, I can do that. Everybody can do that. You know, if you have a sense of humor, it's the easiest thing in the world to pick up men. The easiest thing in the world. They don't bite, and I will totally prove the fact. Steve, no matter where you were, if a woman started talking to you of any sort, from short, fat, and ugly, to older than you, to whatever, Starbucks, you're online getting coffee, what would you do if she started a conversation? You would talk back. You would be a gentleman, because that's how you were raised, and you would talk back to her. Now, obviously, if she was not appropriate and you had no interest in her, you would make the conversation short and sweet, correct? If you did have an interest in her, hopefully you would step up to the plate and have a little bit longer conversation and possibly end up with her phone number. So at the end of the day, usually there's at least half the amount of men in here as there are women. Hey, I'm sorry. Okay. Usually, any man, anywhere, any age that you go up to me, I'm telling you, I've done classes on this, I've taken women on field trips and had a blast like there was no tomorrow when 11 girls walk into a bar. Talk about a scene. <laughs> men are very, very, very simple. They're gentlemen, and they will always talk to you. So I always say, and I said it on air, and once it bit me in the Midwest, really bad on the Today Show, but what you can do is you practice on the nerves. If you don't have enough nerve to go up to a really hot guy that you see, once you get the gist of it by practicing on the nerves and, like, making somebody's day, trust me, it comes so easy. It's like, so clean. <laughs> They're going to have a conversation back, and if you add sense of humor to it, it's only going to be a hundred percent better, to say the very least. Do you have a question? I'm sensitive, though, shy. You can't walk around like a ditzy big bat going, hi, 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 like you're a robot or a Barbie doll. But depending on where you are, I mean, if you're at a party, if you're at a benefit, you know, there's nothing wrong with saying, smile, and say hello. If you, if you read my book, the Hello Challenge in the White Book, let me tell you, it works like a dream. It is, you just have no idea how easy. That's why when I hear from women that they can't meet a guy, it goes in this ear and right out the other. Because you basically just <laughs> smile and you say hello, and then you wait and see, obviously, if he says anything, and introduce yourself. You know, that's it. And then, depending on where you are, obviously, depends on what the conversation is. Obviously, if you're at a party or if you're at a wedding or if you're at something, you start a conversation by, you know,